Now we do balance. Balance sounds easy, right? Nope, it's not. This is actually probably, we put this last because this is probably the most tiring part that we'll do. So, um, I know. So, no, I'm, I'm trying to think here, of it. Here, do you want to stand to the side up? Do you want to come up here and stand to the side? Sure. I'm just trying to think how everybody can see. So the people at home, we'll show some other stuff in a little bit that'll be easier for you to do, but there's not really an adaptive way to do this one in particular. A lot, a lot of what we're going to do here is really based on weight shifting back and forth. We're just doing it kind of with micro movements where it doesn't look like that. So if you're at home, you don't have somebody with you, you don't have all that stuff, you can work on really shifting, trying to keep your center where it is, letting your hips shift over onto one side and then back onto the other. So we talk about finding your, your center. And that means if you shift weight over to this side like this, you wanna to try to keep your weight equal on the floor. So you might have to take more to one hip or the other, but try using your hips to keep your feet on the floor and your balance and not your feet, so to speak, where you're pressing down one way or the other, but you're really using what's in here in the center area. And we're gonna do demonstrate a couple of exercises which might help easily understand what we're trying to do with this. But this is an easier version of what those are. So this is something that, like again, like I said, this is gonna look like it's very simple and easy, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand here and Scott's just gonna kind of push into it a little bit and I'm gonna give him resistance. And then I'm gonna move my hand here and he's gonna do the same thing. And so we're gonna work in all these different directions. Now the, the idea is I'm just touching his hand and he's kind of, you don't see him moving a lot, but he's pushing into me and I'm just kind of holding him in place. So Ray had mentioned earlier feeling the muscles contract in her socket. You're gonna feel this more intensely and the idea is where we talk about speed of the contracture. So what's happening is when his hand is there, I'm shifting my weight over to where his hand is and I can stabilize myself there. But also to do that, that's where you're feeling the, if you're using your hips and all those muscles inside of that prosthetic socket. If you guys remember the first session where we did the heel, heel, little toe, big toe, and identifying those muscle groups. And when we begin our first session in the fall, we're gonna recap that and then kind of build directly off of that after right. we do a recap, so. So this is also something you can do sitting down Okay. If, you're, if you're sitting down, it's really best if you can have a second ball that you can, you, it's well, you, best to have you need a, a second one. You, you can't really kind of want to have a second ball that you can squeeze. You want your feet flat on the ground and a second ball to squeeze. And then, so I will push, give him some resistance here. And it's the same effect because it really is your core and your hips. Right. It's harder with the legs, but you're working a lot of the same muscles, aren't you, Nate? Yes. And, and if you're squeezing the ball, you're gonna feel the muscles contracting in your socket, and that's the purpose of the ball. Um, so, can you guys maybe start working with some of the people down here while we do the demonstration? All right, and so uh, what I want you guys to do is we're gonna start. We're gonna start kind of slow with this. We start by applying real slow pressure and slowly bring it to faster and faster. So right now, I might not have my center and every time he touches me, I have to shift to find my center a little bit more. But as he does it, I stabilize a lot quicker. So if that starts to happen, this is where you speed up how quickly the, the shifts are. And then if you can continue to do that without me losing my balance, um, and if, they, if you start to lose your balance, just go at the slower speed, but always kind of be pushing to that threshold of where the speed is. So for the people watching at home, here, Scott, toss me that ball. Oh, sorry, I was gonna have, actually, hmm? okay, squeeze that between your legs. We're just now gonna only do, do so many people. The so arms out straight, straight, straight. There, what's that? Yeah, so, so when you're sitting, I want you to squeeze the ball between your legs. It's okay. That's all right. Because then it actually kind of helps you to drive through this. Nope, nope. What? So what's going to happen is I'm going to So if you're at home and, and you don't have a partner, into me. one of the things you but, can but do what, for that balance, here, like Nate was talking about, as soon as you squeeze the ball, you're shifting from side to you side. You can feel it. Now you're if pushing you've got from like the ground thin up. Or as soon as you don't have the ball, you're just kind of using all this. You're going to feel there. Something that makes the ground softer. It just makes okay. it that much harder. It just work on from shifting nope. from You're right good. side You're to good. left side, forward to backwards, and using those hips 
and you should feel those muscles contracting in your prosthetic socket. So you can see so, as so I. You really want to push? You just want to The touch. softer the ground touch. is, the higher the level of the difficulty. She's the of push. What I'm she's trying to do is. That's okay. That's all right. That's. But that. Yep. So now, you can feel how much you're working, can't you, Ray? It's, it's been hard. a while since I've trained for the triathlon yep. or anything, but something I do do a lot when I'm doing that. Oh, and I this know. really increases the level of difficulty. We're not doing that yet, Blair. So you can take a BOSU ball like this, flip it upside down. So if the ground is soft enough, I don't really need anybody to push on those balls. But you see, you can really see the weight shift now. So when, if Nate was to do that with the ball, which actually we will demonstrate. So when I was telling you, you didn't see it when I was on the ground, all the hips shifting around, but you will when I do it like this. So if you do have a partner, you can do it with the ball, that'd be great. If not, you can get some dumbbells or some weights, work on just shifting your arms over to get, you know, that type of thing. Those are other adaptive techniques at home. I don't quite have my center yep, that's yet. Okay. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. You ready? Yep, go. So now you can see, if you look at his ankle, if you watch his ankles and hips, you can see how much work he's doing. Like I'm working my butt off. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>